Now, farming something that has a very small chance to spawn in an environment that only shows up on a single node for 30 minutes every three or so hours isn't going to be easy or even realistic, but there is a trick to farming rare sentient caches that you absolutely 100% should be doing every single time you go there. If you want the ephemera, if you want the capture of scenes, you should be doing this and it's something that has existed in games for years and years. It's split farming. In the video description is a link to an extremely useful resource for Warframe that offers so much to the player base, but in this specific case, it has a sentient anomaly tracker. It will count down in your local time zone how long it will be until the next anomaly can spawn. Now the tracker will always give you a chunk of time that it's counting down because the anomaly doesn't always spawn an exact amount of time apart from each other. It's always within a stone's throw. So use the timer and keep yourself clued in. For those of you who are too lazy to click the link, it's semlar.com. The tracker is on the homepage. Now, the key mods for this have a companion that won't run off and die, so probably carry a prime, equipped with animal instinct or prime animal instinct. This will give you loot radar, so caches will appear as little boxes on your minimap and overlay map, and also try to equip Thief's Wit on your Warframe for additional loot radar range too. Now use the tracker to coordinate with three other people, friends or clan mates. What you and your three buds are going to do is split farm the anomaly. The moment the node is up that will start spawning it, set your party to infight only and make sure that you're the only one in that party. Your three friends need to be doing the exact same also. When the anomaly is up, all four of you start the node that it's spawning on and race to the anomaly. Make sure that your railjack hasn't aggroed anything on the way there or while parking it so that it doesn't get shot to high hell while you're inside the sentient anomaly the avionic void cloak may be useful for this just keep that in mind basically when your railjack is safe and you're inside the anomaly press m on your keyboard don't know what it's going to be on controller for when this is out for consoles sorry guys open your big overlay map and now keep an eye out for the small little boxes each single box denotes a cache and each cache can be a rare sentient cache now all four players are going to be doing this exact same method ignore every single sentient enemy don't kill a damned thing just run hallway to hallway room to room and peep out every single little sentient cache that you can keep in mind some caches will spawn behind a weird looking wall which can always be damaged by void damage so your amp will also come in useful here personally i can only break these walls with certain amp parts i have no idea why do keep that in mind the amp that i use for this use parts 444 from cetus However, I honestly think that it only takes your prism into account, your mileage may vary. Now the caches apparently make no rare cache sound like you'd normally expect, but they do have a very distinct look to them. Credits to Reddit user Thor131 who posted this six days ago. You can see the yellow neon energy lines that denotes a rare cache. Other colors are red and apparently someone said they had a blue one too, but I haven't yet seen proof for that one. So keep that one in mind. If by the absolute grace of God, you should so happen to find one of these bastards, instantly invite all three other members in your split farming group. Once they've all caught up to you, smash the cache, finish the mission, extract safely and keep your new loot. If you do a run and there's no rare cache spawn, just hit escape, abort mission, and then go rinse and repeat, run it again for as long as the anomaly is up. If somebody in your split farm party finds a rare cache, they should invite you and the others to the party instantly as well. And that's just how you're going to keep farming this thing. That's it. That's the secret special source for the rare sentient cache spawns. There's nothing too fancy here, just making clever use of having friends or clan members completely legitimate as well. So the support shouldn't be on your tail about this. Unfortunately, there's no way to increase the spawn chance of them per mission, but having four people running a split farm for them is definitely the best way. That's four chances per run, essentially. With that being said, I still haven't found one. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please do feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing for more Warframe content in the future. And I'll see you next time. Have a happy new year, friends, and stay safe.